Alright, hi everyone, my name is Joey V. Welcome back to a Geek Watch Gaming Morning, and this is once again Rogue Legacy. Let's jump right back into it. Um Where are we? Let's see. Let's let's think about this. Um We are pretty well upgraded at this point. We've upgraded up to Dragon. I think we've got most, if not all, of the skills. At least Shown, I think, but no, I, I could be wrong. Um, yeah, here we are. Yeah, we got the dragon. Um, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um, now, yeah, we now we just have to keep moving on, to getting. Um, oh. I don't even remember when I got that. That's great. <laughs> um, we upgraded that. So there's no more part of that castle. So I think this is the last. Let's. Uh, we upgrade that to see if there's another part of the castle. Sure, why not? Oh, that's it. Alright. So. You know, at some point, I kind of just gave up trying to, uh, trying to beat bosses and decided, hey, I'm just gonna make money for a while, and it's been working out alright for me. So. So, because of that, just keep it going. Cool. The Paladin does 71 damage? Pretty bonkers. <laughs> Thea Lash says good morning. Good morning. Yes, it is. It's a little early, right? It's a little early for that. I'm, su I'm amazed. I'm surprised. I'm very thankful for uh, for people showing up this early. Thanks, guys, for showing up. We're just gonna. See what today brings in terms of Rogue Legacy. Can't make any promises, obviously, but I'm always hopeful that we can bring that up on us. one downside. I should probably have another panel open on my side computer that has like a ah oh, shit. Never gonna make it. That has like who's in chat because right now I have obviously I can, when people chat I can see it but I don't see who is in chat until they say something. I should probably yeah, that's a good note to have. Uh, 
Godzilla says, well, it's just something calm to watch while there is little else in the early morning since I shall. This is uh, more than likely six. Yeah, that's right. You said, was it you who said you, you work tonight, or was that somebody else? Same way when, when Oki was a puppy. Uh, as he lashes, nah, I'm employed at the moment and I'm the one who just likes to sleep, so I tend to push it off. Haha, <laughs> get it fixed eventually. I, 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 when I was unemployed, I was the same way. In fact, that was when I played way too much World of Warcraft when I was unemployed. I would wake up in the morning, I'd wake up in the, you know, in the afternoon. Oh no, wait, I'd wake up early morning. Fly to a bunch of jobs, and then when I was done sending out like hundreds of resumes, I would uh, I'd go back to bed, and then I'd play World of Warcraft. Right? And then when Undead Humanity says morning, sir, morning Undead. Good to see you. Thank you very much for stopping on by. Um, and then when Loki was a puppy. You know, like last year, um, I um, I would wake up and see. Let's just ah, no wow for me. I don't have anything else to do. Jobs aren't plentiful here. Ah, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Doing swell. D and D tomorrow. Oh man, that's so good. Oh man, I'm jealous. I want to play some indie. Although I'm working on our group's next uh, RPG RPG adventures, so I'm working on those adventures. I, mean, I usually GM, so um, and Undead Humanity. To answer your question, not much is going on. I'm I'm hanging in, just putzing around, getting the monies. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, but when Loki was a puppy, um, it was kind of like our arrangement with my wife that like, when... Whoa. How fucking far is this? Nope, I can't do that if I fuck up my jump breath. Back. Okay. Um, but the arrangement was, you know, if the dog needs to go out late, early in the morning, that's my job. That's fine, I, I signed on for it. Um, but, you know, my wife didn't want to be disturbed. That's, you know, that's fair. So, just because the dog did his business does not mean that he was going to go back, back to bed. So I had to, like, sleep downstairs on the couch with him. And I did, and I did that while just watching Twitch on my iPad or on my Xbox. And that was, those were my days. Zealash says, I do as well. The other ones aren't exactly thoughtful about their DM. Yeah. Uh, DM is just, uh, Dungeon Mastering is just a, uh, like a, it's a, it's a skill. It is a skill. And, and I, I firmly believe that it's not like you can, like, you either have it or you don't, but, but it can be taught. Like, you, 
like, if you get enough practice in, you can get it. You know? I am a living example of that. I was terrible when I first started. I was horrendous. But, I just kept at it, got better, and then eventually... You know, eventually I was able to be pretty decent. Um, Undead Man says, I'm terrible with stories, so I DM them just to get, just to play in my evil, always a new room behind doors, even the ones you just came through dungeon. Ah, okay. But there, there is a, um, there is a place for that, though. There's a place for that style of game. Um, that is, you know what, I'm really kind of happy to, you know, to, to have, you know, new viewers on the channel that are also, uh, RPG guys, because one of the things I want to do in the near future is do like a like an RPG podcast um, in the near future. So it, it would be kind of cool that we we have people that would be interested in that. Or at least I hope they would be interested. In it. Humanity asks, have you ever watched the D&D stream? It's pretty cool. I have. Um, uh, Zialash. Ah, I always liked wor the world building, creating an organic environment, etc. Though, that is a good idea. Yeah, my favorite RPG was Golden Sun and Inspires My Style Game as well as others. Awesome. That is really cool to hear, guys. See, that's the thing. At one point, um, you know, for, if, if you guys don't know, at some point, um, for, for about, I want to say like four years, um, friends and I did, we did um, uh, gaming marathons for Child's Play. And, you know, we got a, like a decent amount of viewers out of that. So we were like, oh, like, let's do something else. Like, and at one point we were like, let's, let's live stream um, us RP playing an RPG. So, you know, at the time we were working on a, um, World of Darkness campaign, and we were like, oh, let's, let's do that. And it's hard to make a live stream of RPG kind of compelling. It's hard. Like, you know, even for people that are RPG fans, it can be difficult. You know, I thought it would be so easy, and people were like, well, we liked your gaming marathons, and we thought you were entertaining, but this, I don't know about this. It's, it's just tough, because, like, that's kind of, you know, the stuff that you do, sometimes the stuff that you do on a, um, you know, at a house game is not very compelling. Zealash says you would have to had played it for the first time and be open to spoilers for the reaction value. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, it's it's a toughie. It's a toughie. Oh shit. All right, I'm gonna take a bunch of damage, but it's okay because I'm gonna go in. Yeah, I think like the live stream of the, uh, at least in my experience, the live stream of the RPG stuff has not been successful. But I believe 
that a podcast or you know a video cast or something like that where people get together and they discuss RPGs, I think that would be something really something that people could get into. Uh, Undead Humanity says it's odd because my dungeon did have its own world per se. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it did have its own world per se. I built an evil god, which is the dungeon actually feeds off of chaos and death. That's why it pulls people and creatures to the dungeon to feed itself. The idea that the room always changed, even before you just came through, uh, was so that they couldn't map it and make an advantage. The dungeon always shifts. I thought of it from watching the movie Cube, Hyper Cube. That's, a, that's really cool. I like that. So you're telling me it was kind of like Rogue Legacy. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I like that. I can dig that. But see, even that is cool. Like, the fact that, like, yeah, like, this is, like, perhaps the style of your GMing is, alright, let's all get together and, like, smash through this dungeon. Like, but it had a story, like, that's awesome, you know, like, you know, like, how many people would not even bother with something like that, you know, that's cool, you, you came up with an explanation, I love that, I love that. Uh, Undead Humanity then says... I eventually set them up in a town, which overall the god was doing together a bunch of people to make a feast, but shh, I just didn't know that. Oh shit, oh, 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 oh. Sounds awesome, guys. Uh, I'm excited to hear that. And like I said, I'm I'm hoping to do something RPG related in the next coming. I don't know, next next few weeks. Um, just to like test it out, see see what people think. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know. There'll be some mention of it on the Twitch page, and probably on the. Uh, on my website as well, so that's that that, that is awesome. I'm gonna die here. Yep. First of all, Zia Lash, you are not blathering. We are having excellent discussion while I play Rogue Legacy. So meh. Lash then says, I tend to go with a more RP-oriented D&D myself with a deep backstory for them to discover solely and several place, places and people to discover. It's like the feeling of watching them adapt to new situations. No, I agree. Uh, I, I am the same way. I, I you know, I, I don't play D&D as much anymore. Um, that's just not the system that we kind of gravitate towards. Um, we kind of we kind of like to try a bunch of new things, like the... Um, adventure I'm working on right now. We haven't determined the system yet. I'm actually doing a pilot. Uh, I'm doing a, a quick like one-off session for each of the two that we're thinking about. We're, we're looking at Numenera, which is um, kind of cool sci-fi. Like, what if what would Earth be billions of years in the future? Um, and then there's um, Deadlands, which is alternate reality, steampunk, Wild West. Um, you know, it's 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 super cool. But yeah, like we don't just don't know which one we wanna we wanna go with just yet. So. Oh, 
and, and, and when I say I'm thinking about an RPG cast, um, I'm more talking about not necessarily playing an RPG through a podcast or something, but more uh, more the idea that, you know, we talk about, like, we, we talk about various things related to RPG, whether that is GMing or... Um, you know, how to make a better... Like, trying to give advice and tips on how people can can make better adventures and, you know, if they have questions or they need advice, you know, something like that. Because, you know, in our group, we have a lot of, we have a lot of experience. GMing, we have a lot of experience, uh, you know, trying to do alternate, alternate things. Um, Uh, dragon. And this man says, yeah, it'd be fun to be in a campaign like that, and I'd be willing to try other style of table RPGs, too. Would be fun. Yeah, and I, and I think the RPG cast would be great from just a standpoint of, like, hey, this is some other... Here are some other systems that you can try, and this is why they're cool, and this is the pitfalls that they have, and I think something like that would be a great resource. I like I know that there's other people that do it, you know, but I don't know. So I'm a niche market. Uh, they both sound interesting, honestly. Uh, Zlash says, Numenera sounds like it could have some very interesting historical ba background in creatures as a byproduct, while the other is more of in your face with a dark backstory deal. Yeah, it, it, and that's kind of the, that's kind of the, um, not like the issue we're having right now, but the, um, you know, uh, meh. Um, that like Numenera can be whatever the GM really wants them to be. You know, how much how much time and effort are they willing to put in? You know, if they're willing to put in the time, they can make it a gorgeous story, gorgeous backdrop, um, and all of that. Whereas with with uh, Deadlands, you kind of know what you're gonna get because the the backstory is so very well defined. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I get distracted sometimes. Um, it's so well defined that you kind of know what to expect. I mean, there's still plenty of room for to do some really interesting things, but you know, it's a little bit more of a known quantity and something that the players can at least semi prepare for. Uh, let's see. That is where. You know, like, to give you guys context, the last thing that I did as a GM, sucker for punishment, is that, um, you know, World of Darkness, they have all the different, um, supernatural types, you know, all the supernatural monsters are pretty much their own book. They have Vampire, Werewolf, Mage, Changeling, like, they're all their own separate book. But, all of them are designed to work together. Um, at least system wise. System wise, they can all they can all play just fine, you know. But um, hold on. yeah. I fed them. They're just annoying. Sorry about that. Um, cats, the cats upstairs are being quite annoying. Wait, 
which is not that surprising. They're, they're annoying cats. Um, um, so, so yeah, we did a World of Darkness campaign where we took all the books. I pretty much laid out every single supernatural type that there was, and I, I just laid it all out and said, "All right, guys, play whatever you want. Um, I'll make it work. Like I will work on the." The reasoning for why all of you are going to come together and all of you are going to work together. Like, just play whatever speaks to you. And that was super hard, but so rewarding, so entertaining. You know, so... But we're definitely a group that tries to, tries to do some different things at all times. says, just terrible at keeping the party together. Perhaps it's just from have, all having massive egos. They always seem to find a way to piss each other off. That's, you know, and sometimes that's the group that you have. Um, I have a group that generally, generally wants to work together. And they do, they usually do a pretty good job of it. Sometimes there are disagreements and those disagreements and those players will they're usually pretty. With usually, they're they're all for it, but sometimes they, you know, firmly believe what they believe, and they don't want to back off from it, and that's kind of cool. But yeah, it can be difficult sometimes. Uh, Undead humanity says we only had one person like uh, like that. Uh, worst part for me is groups that his groups hate magic. Hmm. Hate using magic, huh? Interesting. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Right, let me just hang out here for a second. I need to get over there. Ah! Zlash says, really? Mine want to only be mages half the time. They all want that level 20 sorcerer. Maybe that's why they all butt heads, because they all want to be the dude. They want to be the guy. Alright, I'm going to lock down this fucker, this fucking place. Because... I want to get a boss run in. Says, now one friend loves the drunken dwarf slash half orc barb playstyle. The egocistic one was fighter, and the newest member was a rogue small group. I loved mages. And Dead Humanity says they currently play 3 5 and see last the same year. 3 5 is a great system. I, I played most of my DD was DD second, second edition, because um, that's what we had. And, uh, that's, that was for most of my... That's where most of my plane came from.
close. Maybe it's over there. Oh wow. Sorry guys, I totally missed a bunch of stuff. Uh, Undead Humanity, I feel fourth ruined magic users. Zealash says I completely agree, though fifth seems nominal. Um, yeah, I fourth I like kinda what they were going for, but it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite system. into fifth yet says undead humanity Z lash I've seen reviews all across the spectrum uh, what are they doing with it are they going back to the three five so are they redo it Z lash says my first DD was second edition though my friend the DM had years of experience but he was so bad at storytelling that we all became very bored that sucks I'm sorry to hear that my my GM was a magnificent storyteller so we we had a great time <laughs> um, and they seem to have mashed 3.5 and 4 together for some unholy bastard child. But people seem to find it decent, but only the beginner book is out. Uh, yeah, I think we'll all give 5 or D&D &D Next or whatever the stupid thing they want to call it. Like, we'll, gi we'll all give it a shot. Yes. You know, I think that it goes without saying. Um... Yeah, it's just a matter of, like, is it good, you know? Alright, so I've got that. So, that's on lockdown. I'm gonna go try and make some money. Um, okay. Uh, as long as they don't have the damnable healing uh, charges or whatever they were called that made combat 2 ugh. Back to the... What was that? It was a uh, second wind, and you had healing surges. Yeah, I like the idea of healing surges. I like the idea, like if you don't want to have someone play a healer, like your class or other classes can allow you to heal. It, it in theory, it makes sense. It's it's a decent idea, but like that's the thing. I think. I believe that D&D 4 was really good for new players. I think it did exactly what they wanted it to do, and it brought in new people. Which is great. That's fantastic. You, you know, you want to get new people into the hobby, but I think it also alienated pretty much everyone else. Um, you know. And I think, you know, that's I think that's the problem. Oh my god, that's the greatest! That was the greatest. I am the master of juggling. <laughs> that was awesome! So yeah, that's that's all. I think I think it would have been fine. You know. I think four was good from that standpoint. 
Um, but, yeah, I, you know, I think, I just don't think people wanted to play like that. They're like, and I should say, the older style players. You know, the players that had been with the series, you know, forever. But that's, that's what happens. You, you bring in a new addition to try, to try some new ideas out, and that's what can happen. You know, when, when 3 first came out, I hated 3. Zealash said, almost every class had them, which made healers just for decoration. Healers are just part of that holy trinity that makes D&D fun. You have to rely on each other, not just Mr. Mime. Um, uh, Undead Humanity says, I told him I might hash roll eight action points into 3.5. Made it bad, though. I don't mind action points. Um, we played... Um, we play. We played uh, D20 Modern a lot. Um... And D20 Modern had uh, action points, and so we were kind of used to it. I don't mind action points. I, like I said, I can make. I feel like any system can be good. Um, I am of that mindset. Uh, yeah, and and there were other systems where action points were like, if you on a roll, you could add a d6 to your roll. Like if if you were close, if you rolled a d20 and you know you're you're plus your skill and it was close, you know. The GM might say, you might want to use an action point, and then roll the d6 and get the extra point. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted the dragon. So, so yeah. I, I'm interested to see what they do with D&D next. I'm sure I will buy this, the, you know, the main books. Just to see what's up, um, you know. I just worry that like they're trying to make this everything to everyone, and I don't think you can make everyone happy. Like that's just part of the. That's just part of it, you know. Yes! This is the greatest! Oh, and I have no football, so these don't- these don't activate! Yes! Guys, we're gonna cheese this. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, maybe we're also gonna die. Let's not get too cocky. But let's hope this is okay. Shit, shit, shit. <gasps> Damn it. Seemed like such a good idea at the time. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep up with what you're saying, but man, I'm trying to also cheese this boss. This 
dog is losing his shit. Oh boy. Now I'm scared. Now I'm really scared. Progress. Get out, get out, get out. One little bit down. The no foot pulse thing is making is what is making this possible. Because the no foot pulse, the uh, the traps over here, they don't get activated. And that is totally awesome. Everything in my body is like telling me like, oh, I should be talking to these guys because that's kind of like streamer etiquette, like 101. It's like, oh god, I'm so hyper focused. Get me out! Get me out! Get me out! Out it out. It's bad. Damn it! I got greedy. I got greedy. I got greedy. It's all right. I'm gonna just keep doing it. get a dragon. The next time we get a dragon we should be okay. I know, I got so greedy. It was totally, it was totally on me. Like, oh, I can hit the boss on this, like, weird platform. It's like, no, just hit the boss on the bottom. Like, don't even, like, don't even fuck around with this. Like, why are we doing this?
Nice. I don't know why I'm giving this run so much thought. Like the I, the, the prospect of me beating the boss on this one seems highly unlikely. But I guess we're. I guess you never want to just like call call a run a throw away. Right, now the pioneer ones can't really get up high. Bigger ones can. So I gotta try and stay a little bit higher as they get smaller. Yeah, like theoretically, now none of them should be able to get up here. Maybe one? Yeah, like that, that bigger one down down on the left can get there. Look at you guys chatting up. Love it. I'm enjoying it. minutes so let's try and get a boss down. Archmage time stop. Maybe this will maybe this will do something. Oh man, Zealas said that his last D D party swelled up to nine people. Oh, I've been there. I have been there. And you never want to say, like, no, don't. And you never want to be that guy who goes, no, you can't play. I have too many people. That's, yeah, we've, we've had that happen many times. an interesting idea. Oh, yeah. They patched it. It used to be that in the first version of this game, you could time stop, and when the blob would split, they would not be activated. They would just stay split, so you could just sit there and just go... Doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. Alright, now I won't have the advantage of the no footballs, but <clears throat> it's still okay. Now let me get. Do I have any other runes that I can use? I do. Let's do that. That's the one downside. I didn't have a lot of runes. So 
I do have some vampirism. I have that. Alright, so that's fine. ZLS is more like, no, you can't play because you're a terrible role player is my problem. They can't even interact. That's that's tough. See, usually the people that I've had like that, they just don't want to play anymore. They go like, oh, this isn't for me. And I go, well, you know, and I and I give them, you know, we, we try a couple different ways to, to see if they can get into it. And they don't. And then you go, eh. Oh, come on. Go. Good, good, good. Hanging in. There we go. Nice. Good, good, good. Liking where this is going. Shit. Sometimes getting the aiming can be difficult, but. guys can jump up top and I don't want that. This is hard. <laughs> Still get this. Problem is, Dragon does not have a lot of health. That's really sad. Splunger. Yep. It's definitely the right move, but. Well, that, and I don't have the prop. I don't think I have the proper runes, but. We can get there. We'll do one more attempt, and then we'll call it for the day, and uh, and then we'll see where we're at. I'll probably be streaming again on Sunday, 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 Sunday. I take I usually take Saturdays off.
It's also like does not help that playing with a dragon is like nothing any other part of Rogue Legacy has like prepared you for. Like this plays so differently. Like it's so powerful, it's so good, but man is it weird. I cannot wait for when this is done to like read all of your your uh, your conversation and then like next time we all get together I'm gonna like comment on it. I'm gonna be like, oh man guys, that was a really interesting conversation. Or man, fuck that guy. Okay, okay. Get up here. No, no. I just have to. It's just it's just ingrained in me. I know, I'm gonna get it. It's like it's it's there. It's right there. And this is like a way better strategy than I was doing before. It's just just a little little weird. But I appreciate the the help the thought and the help guys. You can relax. You can wait one more attempt. Feel it this time. I did feel it till I got 
getting smacked in the face about 50 times. No, nope. all right. That is a sign. That is a sign that it is time to sign off for the day. Guys, I'm gonna read all this chat because it looks awesome. It looks like a bunch of awesome RPG chat and I can always appreciate that. Change the camera. Let me hold F4 out of that. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna skedaddle because I have to. Um, I have to take the dog out. It seems, and uh, and whatnot. But um, yeah, next stream is Sunday. Um, as much as I, as much as a uh, Rogue Legacy is making me want to slam my head against a wall, I'm probably going to keep playing it on Sunday and see where I'm at. Um, I got a pretty, pretty good idea about how I'm going to, how I'm going to go about this. So, all right. Um, yeah, guys, have a, uh, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful beginning to your weekend. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. All right. Have a good one.